What is your exact desired outcome? You can call it an EDO if you like. Exact desired outcome. I was recently doing a series of role plays with my marketing uh, director and some members of our mastermind. And uh, my marketing director had suggested that. And we spent pretty close to two hours doing those role plays. Both he and I were surprised at how much work needed to be done on role plays. These were primarily calls, role plays, where the mentee was calling a prospective acquisition target. And one of the things that was clear is that most of those people doing the role play, if not all, uh, we're uncomfortable, that's normal, you're gonna suck at this before you're good at it, like anything. But they didn't know really how to close that call. Well, now that could be a phone call, that could be a Zoom call, that really doesn't matter, although I have a preference for Zoom calls because I can read body language. But before you get into any conversation, be that board members, be that bankers, be that lawyers, be that accountants, be that prospects. You have to sit down. Well, you don't have to, but I would highly recommend that you do. Sit down and think about, okay, what is the exact desired outcome that I want? It may be that you end up wanting to have that person say, yes, I'm interested and send me some information. It may be that you have, yes, um, let's talk about this more in more detail next week, at which point you should, during your close, suggest a time and a date. And again, if you're doing this across multiple time zones, always use the time zone of the other person. And uh, that will eliminate a lot of confusion. And even if you're writing an email, what is it that you want that email to do? Do you want it to elicit a response? Do you want it to have a call to action where you get an email back or a phone call or a text message or whatever it is? So every single communication, whether that's written or whether that's spoken, take the time to think about what is my exact desired outcome that I'm looking for here. If you do that, you'll have clarity on what the call should be like and what you should end it. And I pretty frequently recanted a story, not recanted, but retold a story that was way back in my corporate sales days. I went across the country with an engineer to call on follow up on a proposal. And we went in, we sat down, I asked if they had reviewed the proposal, which they had, this was before the days of emails where I could confirm that. And I asked if there were any questions about it, and they said, no. In fact, we're going to award you this business. I said, okay, great. We appreciate that. Thank you. And uh, I said, other than anything you might have, you know, you're busy, and uh, pr we appreciate the time, and uh, we don't have anything else unless you have something else. And he said, no, looking forward to working with you, and off we went. And when we got outside, the engineer said to me, we traveled halfway across the country last night, stayed in a hotel, went in, made that call, and we were out in five minutes. Maybe it wasn't five minutes, maybe it was 10 minutes, 15 minutes, something like that. But it was very short. And I said to him, before I knew this terminology, exact desired outcome, which I picked up from my marketing director, but I knew that concept clearly. I said, what was our goal from that call? And he stumbled around a little bit. And I said, our goal from that call was to follow up on the proposal and in a perfect world, find out that they were going to award that business to us. And in fact, that's exactly what happened. So as I said to him, more than one sales guy has talked himself out of an order. We had a mission, we went in there, we completed the mission, we left. And you would do well to remember that. A lot of times talking too much is a real problem. And I'd suggest that in any of these interactions, if you are interviewing them, you should be talking 15 to 20%, and they should be talking much, much more than that. And that way you will learn. 
Okay, that should help you. If you are getting my emails, great. If not, go over to brucewhipple.com, grab the free class. That'll put you on the mailing list. We pretty recently uh, launched TikTok. So if you are a TikToker or whatever that is, uh, as you see those, it's Bruce Whipple Official. And if you would uh, tag and share those, I'd appreciate that. I'm trying to get to 1,000 here and uh, as quickly as possible. And when I do that, those that help me to get there, I'm going to do something special for them. Don't know what that is yet. My marketing person has some ideas, but we'll do something special for them. So again, if you know the steps, great. If you don't know the steps, go to brucewhipple.com. The Deep Dive Boot Camp is a great way to learn temps. Uh, the, the templates, the steps, and follow those. They're there for a reason. Uh, and you deviate from those steps and you do so at your own peril. But remember, what is my exact desired outcome? If you keep that in mind, you will be much more successful, I expect.